But you're right, this was uh, the most F difficult, the most F dangerous. You can say fuck, Maxi, don't worry about <laughs> <The most it. laughs> um, Yes, um, it was crazy. It was mo the most what was the preparation? Where did the idea even come from for something like, like you that? You were rowing, you know, even sailing, just rowing. Of course not sailing, no sail, no engine. <laughs> and at one point in, in the middle of the voyage, you know, we have something called an AIS, um, automatic identification uh, system for ships. So when, when a big ship shows on our AIS, we have to contact them and ask them. So I asked one of the ships to divert their course because we were on a collision course. And he can see that we are only, unlike him, 200 meters uh, long and God knows how many tons, uh, that we're only eight and a half meters long. And, uh, and he goes, why don't you divert? And I go, well, because we're under manpower. And he goes, what do you mean? I goes, we're rowing. And he goes, you mean y you don't have an engine? And I go, no, no, no engine, no sails. And he goes, well, let me repeat that. That's the captain of a big <laughs> ship. He goes, let me repeat that. You have no engine, you have no sails, you're on an eight and a half meter boat and you're rowing. And I said, affirmative. <laughs> he said, what the F are you doing here? <laughs> he was right. That was your question. Of course yeah. he was right. He was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, this, in answer to your question, it was 2007. I was training for the North Pole, which happened in 2009. Uh, in Scotland at Loch Tay, it was an SAS type training where they try and break you and all that. And uh, alongside us was uh, this team who was training to row across the Atlantic. And uh, the idea of rowing across an ocean was you know, yeah, planted in my mind then. And then something happened with their captain who kind of challenged me. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs>